Hi, you're watching She TV. I am here with Greg from Bad Religion, Circle Jerks, and Black President. Hey, Greg. How you doing? He's going to show us some axe tricks. Axe tricks. First of all, Greg, how do you uh, keep your guitar in tune and we notice that you play one guitar the entire set and that is just miraculous. How does that work? Well, uh, basically uh, tip I would say is not to strum too hard. Don't strum too hard because if you over strum you're going to whack yourself out of tune. And the other thing is, uh, I think that's mainly the main thing, a light, a light right hand touch when you're strumming. Or left handed. If Left hand. What gauge do you play? Uh, tens. How thick is your pick? How thick? You know, I don't know. I don't know what the, uh, it's, it's medium. Medium, kind of medium. Mediums. Can you show us um, a little bit about your guitar and how what you do to prep it um, before going on stage? Well, this fine gentleman here, PJ, prints my guitar before I uh, go on. So, you know, whatever, he strings my guitar. One of the things you want to do is, if you can't afford it, change your strings as much as possible. We change ours every day. So that will definitely keep you in tune and make it so you don't break strings. And so make, change the string every day. Yeah, and here's a, here's a tip too. Oh, where's the guitar? Make um, sure your saddles here are in good shape because they can uh, get little birds and if you start breaking strings, it's probably a bad saddle. It gets all like pointy and jaggedy or whatever. So what do you do if you're, you know, if yours is all pointy and jaggedy, like how do you... You can file it down or just replace it, to replace them. Okay, so um, just take the strings off and file it down. Yep. And what year guitar is that? That's just 1961, I believe. Les Paul. It's pretty sick. Thank you. Have you played um, Gibson's your whole career? Yes, I have. How old were you when you started playing guitar? 16. Like I took a few lessons when I was like 11 and didn't didn't stick with it. Put the guitar under the bed when I was about 16. Picked it up again and just started playing with some friends. And why do you think that the Les Paul is a um, traditional punk sound? Why how, why has that become the punk guitar of choice? I don't know. It's either Les Paul or, or an SG. I don't know. I think uh, they just sound a lot fuller and thicker for what the style of music that we do. I think it really works. You don't need a lot of pedals. It's got a good natural tone without. You just plug it in. You plug it into an amp and it sounds great. You don't need to mess around with anything else. What is your setup? Two heads, two cabinets. The cabinets are uh, the Mesa dual rectifier cabinets. Amp, uh, I have a Marshall 2555 and a Mesa dual rectifier head. Um, how has your stuff been um, doing for these past uh, two months on Warp Tour? It's pretty dirty and dusty, so uh, I'm gonna go get some tender loving care after the tour. Do you have to change the tubes often on your amps? No, only one, maybe once a year, every other, I don't know. I don't, when I started thinking of sounding crappy, I'll change it. I had a problem with the tube a few shows ago, and it was just loose in the socket. We put it back in, it was fine. Do you have a signature move? Uh, supposedly, it's the Hetson Leap, is what people tell me it's called, but. You know, I just jump around like a maniac, you know. Well, awesome. Thank you so much. You're watching SheTV.